a synonym or a similar word could be charge. You as a man are in charge. You I as a man, hold on, you as a man, you as a man have a lot of responsibility over your shoulders now. Yeah. That's and still that's, right. that's why you are in control of a lot of things. But the way yeah. that you said or you presented, and that's why you as a man must be careful with what, because other women don't understand the word the way that oh, you're saying. I, I, I Trying to care. control my life is not the way that it should be presented. Well, you, you, you got to understand. Like as a you man, gotta, I will hold on. I will want my men to influence me the best way possible. And I, I, I let me give you an example if I can. My okay. daughter kind of she did something. She was in the pool and she did something and she splashed me with water. Mm -hmm. But like she did it like intentionally. I could see her like she did it intentionally when I have told her already that I didn't want her to get wet. Mm -hmm. So when I did this on the seat, like I was gonna throw the the floaty that she you know that she splashed me with my husband just did this to me like this just that he didn't have to say anything he didn't have to like do nothing nothing bad it was just soft and gentle the way that he did it and it was more like he thought, hold on, he thought that i was gonna have a bad reaction because i did this but it was more like the water it splashed me really bad and it was cold that i got like I don't know. It was a reaction, but so look, this is my point. Little. This is this is my point. This is my point. One, nobody cares about women reacting or responding because nobody gives a damn about what y'all want or don't want. Like the world go. is controlling y'all. Okay. You you get your food, everything from us. You I was gonna water jump on your us. side. I'm thankful. You, I get, held my you get everything from us. The reason why you're a Women are alive. Because it's because of men. All of this, we, I, me too. All of this is controlled. When you take a dump, we ain't never seen the man have no baby. We, we don't need to have no baby. Y'all have they babies. Just wanna, part, of, part of the control. So look, the point is, like land. Ladies, Thank you. control is not a bad word. And the day you realize control is actually a good word, just like what Saida said, who you'll have a better life. All right. All right. So I, I, I got to respond to that real quick. Mr. Lego, I, I think that oh. you're actually right about women not wanting something that they can control, but it's mm. only about a certain type of woman. You're talking this about masculine woman, yeah. women. Masculine yeah. women feel like they have to control the situation. And that's why so they would look for some of these losers or men who are feminine in many ways, whether it comes mm. to just physically or responsibility wise men who handle themselves in a feminine manner now mm -hmm. we all know that women are their happiest when they are allowed to rest in their femininity so women who are feminine do not feel like they need to control a situation it's just unfortunate right now that we have a lot more masculine women than we do have feminine women available and that's the reason why we don't get married. Hence, uh, what what Lucky was talking about earlier. If there were better women, more of us would get married. But there aren't better women. Therefore, because of the standards we actually have, we don't marry y'all asses. Okay, so can I ask a, Paris? It's a, Paris, a question. When it's uh, two things that I wanted to say in regards to this. One word that was brought up was content, content, contentment, pretension, and um, contentment rather. Um, and with that word, what we see is like the art of suppression that happens in relationships. Um, I know that um, Fantasy Island Girl mentioned earlier, like, hey, your relationship starts when you first start talking this, that, and the third. And um, not having problems shouldn't be like a red flag. But in all honesty, there was a study conducted and it said most people who never show any type of problems in a relationship are hiding something from each other. They actually, do not, they actually do not have a real relationship. The best yep. example of that would be the movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith. They did yes. not know each other. They didn't, they didn't have a real relationship at all. They had no mm. idea who they were. So it's actually good to talk about contentment. And it's actually good to talk about the fact of, hey, hey you, you, you got some form of hidden expression. Like you roll your eyes, your body language. You got some form of disdain. Something hasn't been addressed. Something is lying under the surface that should come out. That's one thing. Second thing, this word control. I hate y'all for make me agree with this man. Um, and it's because 
the word control has a lot of synonyms and I see Seta, she definitely loves wordplay. I'm also a word wizard. The word control is just basically a person who is able to influence or a person who's able to direct other people's course of action. So even though you didn't have that feeling doesn't mean that your dad didn't control you because something as being in control is your parents setting rules into their house. Synonyms of control are people uh are things like authority, dominance, command, a rule, supremacy, um, leadership. Those are all literally synonyms of control and guidance. Guidance. Those may be softer words. They be may, they may be words that you know feel good to you, but those are literally words of control. I think a lot of times going back to what Sarah said, even when the word submission comes up, and we were interchanging these words with more appealing words, people would be far more along with the idea of the word verbiage and the usage of them. But the real reality is a lot of times we are being controlled and you may not like the word control. However, you are receptive to a man being dominant and dominance right. is literally a synonym of control. Right. All right. Let's get a uh, Sweeney in there. You, Sweeney, wait, you're I next. I want to... you good. Oh, okay. Go oh, ahead. Hold on real quick. Oh, let, let, them cook. Uh, let them cook, Trigger. Let them cook. All right. I'll be right back. And then uh, Sweeney, okay. you answer the question. So I just wanted to make sure I was very clear that I wasn't saying that you shouldn't have any conflict in your relationship. I was saying your relationship has started, whether you've had your first conflict or not. And it's important no, the way that you speak to each other and the way that you um, create your safe space for them so that when you do have conflict, you can communicate in a safe space and have somewhere safe and soft to land. So I'm not saying that your relationship shouldn't have any conflict. My husband and I had conflicts when we first started. We don't have nearly as many now because our communication is just much better. We learned what works for us, what doesn't work for us, um, ways that we can communicate with each other and make sure that we are understood, make sure we're patient when we're talking to, uh, to each other. All these things were while we weren't in an argument. So when we finally were to a point where we were at a conflict, it was like, okay, this is what we're going to do. Let's sit down. Let's have a talk. Let's be patient. And that alone changes the whole environment. And that's all I was trying to explain to people. I know that conflicts happen. I'm not inexperienced. So in other words, you actually agree with me when you said you didn't you didn't agree with me. But go ahead. Precious. No, I only disagree with a portion. I got you. Go ahead. Precious. I think, um, the bigger part is it's not that um, women are afraid that they can't control the man because the narrative, not the man, the narrative. Uh, I thought you said the man at first, um, that they don't have a man that they can control. In my opinion, I think that a lot of women don't get their feelings under control. A lot of times you hear a lot of women say, I feel this, I feel that, I feel this, I feel that. But as soon as you get with a man who thinks logically and is able to, you know, help you with your feelings, help you with your thoughts, a lot of women get a little like, Frig frigidity, I feel like, because it's like, oh, I'm not used to having my, you know, my my feelings regulated and because they're not doing that by themselves. They're not, mm -hmm. you know, they're not doing the work. They're not going to therapy. They're not talking about what's going on with them. And so when they when they get with a man, a man is clearly able to see some things. He's, he's clearly able to see some things. He'll probably point them out. And when a woman is not wanting to be held accountable or she don't want to be you know, uh, liable for her own stuff. It's like, oh, well, you know, I can't manipulate him or I can't get him to feel a certain type of way. So yep. now I'm just not going to deal with him anymore. And I think that, you know, it's not a man's, uh, while a man is logical and he's a leader, it is not for him to necessarily get your feelings together. You have to know how to manage your own feelings. Now he's going to come in and he's going to set the temperature and he's going to, you know, make sure everything is running smoothly, but he's not going to be able to deal with someone who, who can't get their feelings together. And you're not going to be able to deal with someone who is able to think clearly because you're able, I mean, you're so used to chaos. So I think that women are, are afraid of actually losing, you know, the, the, they blame their feelings on a lot of things. And when a man comes in, he's able to think clearly. And he's like, no, that's not going to fly. Like we, we, we're not doing that in here.